we're going to look quickly at the selective color adjustment. Selective color is great for changing the look of certain color tones or color ranges in your image, like reds, yellows, blues, and greens, for example. So to add the adjustment, we can go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and choose Selective Color. I'll just drag the dialog out here. Now, how this adjustment works is that we pick our color range from the drop down here. I'll move across to yellows, for example, and then we have these cyan, magenta, yellow, and black sliders, and they make up the overall contribution of each of these tones to that color range. So what I might do is increase the magenta contribution here and look how it affects the yellow tones in the image. And also while we're here, I'll increase the yellow contribution. So very quickly, we've added a rich warmth to the yellow feather tones here. I might also switch across to the blues and increase the cyan contribution and decrease the yellow contribution. And it's more subtle, but we've added more of a blue saturated tone to the blue feather tones here. Now, we also have control over whites, neutrals, and blacks. So for example, if we switch across to blacks, we can actually tint the black tones within the image. I might, for example, decrease the yellow contribution and we end up giving quite a significant blue color cast to the blacks or the shadow tones in the image. Now, the whites, neutrals, and blacks sliders here tend to be quite sensitive, so try and use them in moderation. Very small amounts will produce quite strong dramatic effects. Finally then, we have this relative checkbox, which is enabled by default. Now, most of the time, you'll want to leave this enabled. Relative simply means that any of these adjustments are made relative to the intensity of the original colors in the image. If we uncheck relative, adjustments are now made purely based on the percentage values, like we see here. And of course, we can see for this image, it does not suit the intended result at all. So we'll enable relative and then close that adjustment down. Across on the layers panel, we now have the selective color adjustment layer. I can hide that so you can see the before and then show it again so you can see the after. And there we go, just a quick look at the selective color adjustment.